Hello my fellow Minecrafters and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft with yours truly, the Scarlet Fox. Today's episode, we're literally just going to be focusing on the profits of having defeated the dragon. Now last episode, yeah, uh, we did get an elytra, it fell through the portal, we lost it. So we don't have an elytra to show for after all that effort that went into defeating the dragon, but that's not a problem. Today, we're going to focus on raiding the end cities. We'll get the dragon egg and we'll come back home with all the goodies and I'm very excited. So let's get right to it. Okay, so we're back in the end. Um, <laughs> we're gonna have to pillar our way up again. We haven't made any proper ladders yet. I'll have to fix this at some point, but pillaring will work just fine for what we need right now. And we're at the top. It almost seems like there's more Endermen now that the dragon is gone. This is kind of scary. And I forgot a pumpkin head again, which I should probably brought, but you know what? It, it's fine. We're literally just going to be getting this dragon egg right now. So in order to get the dragon egg, all you have to do is block down the portal so that when the dragon egg falls, it doesn't actually go through the portal and you lose it forever. So we'll do that now, and then we'll just clear these things off of the uh, bedrock pillar, uh, just in case we'll create a little space for the piston and the lever to go on. We'll place our piston facing the dragon egg. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we need another couple. Yeah, right here. So we'll place the piston facing the dragon egg. We'll place our lever. We'll activate it. Oh, we'll activate it. <laughs> and there it is. There's the dragon egg. Easy. So after we do this, we all we need to do is just uh, delete all these blocks again so that we can actually take the portal back. But it, it's pretty easy to get it. Just make sure that you have a lever, a piston, and some extra cobblestone so that the dragon egg doesn't fall through the portal. And that's it. But I think this is a good time to actually go raid the end cities. So let's go do that now. Okay, so we took a very short trip back home to get some essentials. Basically what we got is an additional ender chest, some stuff stuff, <laughs> so that we can actually get um, to and from places and some ender pearls in case we need to teleport places. Oh right, <laughs> we haven't fixed this yet, oh my god. And we forgot the pumpkin head again. Ah, I should make a note about this pumpkin head, I forget it every single time. So, in order for us to get to the first, I guess, city, we're going to have to, very carefully, I don't want to look at you guys, get to that there. And that should get us to the first outer island. Now, we just need to be very, very careful here. Maybe this one still has a ladder. Do you have a ladder? Are we that lucky? No. So, we will kind of build a bridge to get there and hope for the best. Whoa, what was that? I saw like a little line go down from there. Okay. <gasps> Enderman, why are you here? Oh. They're like right behind me. I can't move. Oh gosh. Oh, I've aggroed so many of them. No, <laughs> this is already not going very well. Okay. Huh, new plan. We are going to <laughs> build ourselves a little wall as well, just in case. As I'm fixing up these stairs, all the endermen up there keep trying to bump me off. So I more and more think this idea of making a little, I don't know, like exterior wall, if you will, get off is a better and better idea as I move on. Okay, Mr. Enderman, you're almost off. Come on. Come on, just fall. Yes, there you go. Yeah, that wasn't that hard, buddy. Okay, this looks like it is about the right height here. So let's see, there's the purple thing. It's gone again. It just keeps going in and out. I don't know what that purple thing, <laughs> that purple light is. Okay, let's just make it to the actual platform and then make decisions about how to proceed. All right, so I have made this as safe as I can possibly think. Now, it is a one block space, so I'm thinking maybe throwing an ender pearl through. Yes, so throwing the ender pearl worked and we are at, and there's our thing. 
Oh, remote gateway. That's the achievement. So this is what's going to bring us back home. So I'm going to put a little pillar here for us to know that this is where we're going back. Hopefully we can see that from afar. <laughs> and now we have to cross another island. Oh, this is great. Okay, let's cross this island now. All right, and we have done it. We made it out of that across this little bridge we created and now we are in one of the far islands and this is where we would in theory find a city and some shulker boxes etc so let's go exploring Oh my goodness, that's it! That's an end city. Okay, so here is where we find our shulker boxes. Now, whether or not this is the same place that we find our elytras, that is a completely different matter entirely. But we're gonna raid this and let's see what we find in it. Hopefully, some good goodies. And that looks like it is a shulker right there. Hello, friends. Oh, 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 what's happening to me? Am I flying? No, no, I don't want to fly. No, this is a, this is not good. Okay, maybe if we stay under this roof. Okay, well that was mean. Okay, we got two shulker shells from that. That's fantastic. Let's see if there's any more of these around here. Do they have to die when they're open in order for us to get the actual uh, shulker box? I wonder. There's one right there. Oh, yeah. Does it follow you? <gasps> Oh my goodness, it does. Okay, all right. Oh, but if we're floating, we're just floating in here. No, <laughs> as I say it, now I'm just floating up all the way up here. Okay, ha, huh. I'm somehow supposed to like parkour my way up through all this. Okay, this is, this is interesting. Oh, shulker, hello. I kind of almost want to be hit by the shulker um, ability now. Oh, there we go. Do we take a lot of damage from them? Let's pick up these shulker shells. Ooh, and maybe we can pick up some of these end rods. There's nothing in the actual roof, so I guess we need to find one of the ships in order to actually find the elytra. But we got quite a few shulker shells. It's not bad. It's not a lot of, uh, it's not a lot of shulker boxes, but you know, it's more than we had before we begun. So let's continue. I'm gonna die here. This is how we die. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that was a terrible idea. All right. Well, we put everything that was important away, but we can easily go back to um, obtain all the items we had before. So let's go do that now. Okay, so we're good to continue our adventure, and I think I'm gonna try eating another one of these berries, <laughs> even though it might be an awful idea. Wait, we left them in the chest. Let's see where they get us. Um, I don't foresee them, like, actually dropping the us over a cliff, so we're virtually going nowhere. Yeah, they're... Maybe I don't know how to use the chorus fruit, so we'll just put it away for now. Uh, but we got this one. We raided this uh, city. We got some pretty good loot from it. So let's just continue and see if we can find others like it. So I decided to increase the render distance so that I can actually see a little bit further out while we're here and maybe it'll give us a better idea of which islands actually to try to cross but <laughs> um oh oh that actually really did work oh that's fantastic look at that we see it i think that's one of the ships oh this was a good idea yes render distance we need to get up there i i'm almost a hundred percent certain i want to bet anything that that's where the elytra is gonna be oh look at this one this is massive this is way much more and that boat up there yeah this is definitely it so we are finally at the top of this building here and <laughs> i just don't i've been recording without sound this entire time but that's okay nothing important was said other than we are collecting all these wonderful things yay <laughs> um well 
what I have to do is we need to get to all these four different diverging paths uh, slash places that are here. So we'll do that and we will tackle the boat last. Oh boy, I hear. Oh well, you know, that, that kind of helps. So not if we go there. So if we stay here and do not move from this very location, this guy just gave us a pretty safe well not safe but an easy way to to this place okay so this is the room i wanted to raid oh my gosh okay elytra there you are okay so just to feel a bit safer i want to get rid of these guys here ah okay <laughs> i'm like waiting Ooh, fortune and some emeralds. This has been overall pretty decent loot. All right, this is the moment I have been waiting for for so long. I have an elytra. We got it. It's beautiful. So I think what remains is just equipping it. So let's do that. We will equip it. We will take out some rockets from here. We will pray that we know how to use the elytra. We practiced. <laughs> I actually practiced because I was so scared. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, we, we did it wrong. We almost died. Okay. <gasps> and we're off. We're flying. <laughs> hey. Yes, this is so good. Okay, so we just raided this one. So let's see if we can try to find another one anywhere nearby by just flying around. Ow. Yeah, we're gonna have to work on our landings. But this is a different portal. This isn't the portal that we came through. Yeah, okay, that was interesting. We're not taking it. <laughs> we're gonna try to at least find another elytra. But that's interesting. I thought that they only appeared once you defeated the dragon over and over again. I didn't realize that you could just find them randomly around. Ooh. Okay, so we found another one. So after flying for quite a little bit, we found another boat, but this time, ah! Uh, okay. Ow. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna have to work on our landings there. But this time, um, I actually was able to fly right up to it and skip all the shulkers attacking me and stuff. And we can just get this one here for the last little bit to actually make up a full um, stack. Oh, we got more diamonds. Bro, this is what look at this mending fire protection unbreaking and respiration this is awesome this is way better than what i have on right now okay we'll take that we're happy with that some more iron and emeralds and a second elytra i think that's <laughs> i think two elytras is enough for me <gasps> oh my gosh we almost wore out this elytra completely Oh my gosh, I I wasn't even looking at it. Yeah, we need to get on breaking onto this ASAP. We need to find mending as well because I really don't want to be repairing them with each other right away. So I'm going to go back to base. We're going to craft some shulker boxes and hopefully, hopefully we'll figure out a way of getting mending and some enchantments on these elytras so that they don't just die. <laughs> All right, <laughs> and we are back and this is the shulker boxes and all the items that I got. So um, I did get a total of 32. I gave five away to another friend who's playing on the server. Uh, she actually just started maybe a couple days ago. So I wanted her to have a little bit of stuff. In terms of other goodies, we got quite a bit of diamonds, a couple of potions. We got a few different, um, a little bit of some gear, a uh, diamond helmet with some mending, unbreaking, and respiration. I haven't really gone through it well enough yet, so I haven't decided what's going to be permanent, what I'm going to enchant with what, if I'm going to keep what I currently have. Um, but this is kind of what we got. We also got some pretty 
decent iron enchanted gear which I still haven't decided what to do with and two elytras which now have mending so after um, I came back I really 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 felt an urgency to get uh, mending because I don't want these elytras breaking and I still haven't gotten on breaking I'm trying to roll for it but I spent probably about four hours just rolling villagers and I got quite a few <laughs> quite a bit of a uh, few different um, trades and enchantments so we have some efficiency flame infinity mending impaling aquafinity protection do, 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 do. So we have a temporary trading center here. We have Silk Touch back here. And we have the breeding center dungeon area back here where they're kind of trapped. And I'm going to be rolling for unbreaking uh, off camera, just trying to get as much as possible in the gear as good as I can get it. Other than that, I have chest monsters everywhere. I have a chest monster there. This, which was once organized, has also become a chest monster. I have a chest monster at the first base, so I'm probably going to be spending a few hours off camera just kind of rearranging everything, getting things set up so that when we start building again, which will be for next episode, <laughs> we actually have things organized. We already have a lot of the, um, see, the, these beds, they have no business being there, but I was taking them down from when I was taking down the old villager trading center I had, so they just ended up here. Anywho, <laughs> I have all the glass here everything's ready um, to go for the next big chunk of um, this project that we're going to basically be finishing hopefully at least the globe this week and with that i think we're going to call it a wrap i think we profited pretty well we got about 32 shulker boxes we got two elytras we got some enchanted gear we also worked on that villager center so i'm gonna call this episode a success and that's all for today so if you did like this video make sure you hit that like button if you'd like to see more content like this make sure that you hit that subscribe button and if you have any questions comments concerns anything that you'd like me to know basically just put it down in the comment section i love reading your comments i hope you have a beautiful day thanks again so much for watching we'll see you next time bye